I mean, look at the contact dunks with the basic animations, not even the bought ones. Look at the ball handle, step back, speed boost. Oh my goodness, showtime, little pull up. Hey, splash. Oh my. Pyrex smoking, looking like it's frog. Yeah. She wanna fuck with the wolf. What's going on today with y'all boys, man? What's poppin'? Trap gang, trap nation. We here with the best big man build in the game. I said the best big man build in the game. As you can see, the name of this build is the Post Playmaker. And I'm gonna be showing y'all boys a little bit of what it's capable of. And I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to build it. You see I'm running around with the Giannis jersey on? Because I think he's the closest thing to Giannis. He's got defense, he's got playmaking, he's got finishing, and he can shoot a little bit, just like Giannis. Set that pick right there, hit me on that slip. <sighs> Help my guard play defense on the pick and roll. I go down, box out, big snag. Take this down, you know we got slash and takeover. Who you holding? Showtime! All right, guys, so to make this build, you want to put in your name and then put last name Trapper. That's the only way this build is going to be real goaded. You got to make sure to put your last name as Trapper. The position you guys want to go at is power forward, hand, right, left, doesn't matter. Jersey number, doesn't matter. I like 40 because it's my favorite gun, the Glock. Bow. So let's get into our attributes. The pie chart you guys want to choose is going to be the yellow and red. Then we're going to go with the speed pie chart. See, this big right here, he's not hes not going to be like some paint masher. This is like a, a competitive kind of center build, you know what I'm saying? You set your screens, your guard hits your slip, defend the same on the next end. So, let's get into our attributes. And what we want to choose here is driving layup, 72. Driving dunk, 75. Standing dunk, 76. That's going to give us six finishing, okay? Six finishing. Mid-range shot, we're going to take that to 67. Three-point shot, we're going to take that to 59. All right? Go down to playmaking. Take this to 76. Ball handle, 65. Post move, 47. Eh, eh. Right there. 47. Oh, what, what gives us 12? Oh, 13. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go 45. Interior defense, 75. Perimeter defense, 68. Basically, what we're going to do is just max out everything here. And let's see how much badges that's going to give us. Alright, perfect. Yep, that's how we're looking. Body type, you know, me personally, I chose compact. You guys could go with, um, you guys could go with burly. Doesn't really matter. I haven't really proven that, you know, body type does anything in particular, like give you better dunk animations or bump steals. I get bump steals on the skinniest of guards, and, you know, it doesn't matter, but a lot of you guys like the burly. So just for the video's sake, I'm going to choose burly, okay? The high you want to go to is 6'7". Okay, six seven is the height you want to go to. If you look at the difference in the mid range shot, it goes to 71, and that's gonna be key here as to why this build is one of the best builds. And the speed is already at 86, and we haven't even touched the weight yet. Okay, now weight we want to go down to 188 pounds, right? The reason we're gonna go to 188. Because most centers in the stage are going to be like blah bells. They're going to be like 190. So they're not going to be, you know what I'm saying, much stronger than you. If I go 189, you see I lose um, one on the acceleration. But if I go 187, right, look at the interior defense. It drops one. So 188 is the speed spot right there. My wingspan, I'm going to take it to 89. Okay. That's going to give me, if you look at my stats here. That's going to give me an 81 driving dunk. So plus 4 to that at 99 is 85 driving dunk. So I'm going to get contact dunks. 
my mid range. You add a plus four to that, that's going to be a 72. I'm going to be able to shoot mid range. Three point, add four, that's going to be a 65. That, that's not that's not counting if they got flaw general. So you're going to be able to shoot with that. Okay. Pass accuracy, uh, 83. But the main thing right here is ball handle is 76. Plus four, you're going to be able to get pro dribble moves. And then you got your defensive rebound, plus four to that, you'll have 85, so you'll be able to snag boards. Your perimeter and lateral defense is going to be up to 87, so, and your steal is going to be at 87, so you, you're you going to be lightning quick all around the court, you're going to be able to snag boards, you're going to be able to get blocks, uh, you're going to be able to defend, you're going to have pro dribble moves, you're going to be able to shoot, you're going to be able to get contact dunks, this bell can basically do it all. Look at the speed, ladies and gentlemen. It's a 90 speed, so you got to add what? You got to add your plus 4 for your gym rat. That's going to give you a 94. Then you add an additional 4 because you're 99. So your center is going to have a 98 speed. You're going to be able to defend guards. You're going to be as fast as a guard. You're going to be lightning fast. Center is not going to be able to keep up with you. Plus you can shoot. The curry slide, <laughs> the big behind the back. You're doing all this shit as a center, bro. All of this as a center, okay? Plus, you got Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame defense. This this, this is the best center bill in the game, okay? It's not even close. To take over, uh, it's going to be up to you. If you want to go out there and break ankles, take playmaking. If you want to dunk on people, take the slasher. If you want to be able to protect that rim, go rim protector. If you feel you need to, um, you know what I'm saying, clean up some boards, go with that glass cleaning tape. But me personally, if I had to make this bill over again, I personally go with rim protector. It's because you are six seven, so after you grab a couple of boards, oh, nobody's gonna be able to score on you after that. You have built a post playmaker, and it sounds like you're just being the post cheesing, but that's what's going to throw people off. This bill is the most well-rounded big man bill in the game. Shades of Charles Oakley, Brandon Clark, Kyle Anderson. So for finishing, you want to go with your contact and you want to go with some showtime. Cuz you'll be you like you'll be mainly on um mainly on slips. Or you can go with something like you know, if you like to do your pausings and stuff like that, you could go with Showtime. Because you, you, you're supposed to be getting hit wide open. So you could go with Showtime. You could put your pausings. Or you could do a little slithery if your guard really doesn't know when to hit you. Or you can do something like uh, something like this. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Shooting upgrades. All you really need right here, I'm going to say a catch and shoot. You know, just in case somebody's sitting in the paint, you don't want to challenge it. You take your catch and shoot and just show them, look, I got a J on me, all right? Now, if you're a legend, you know, you put your catch and shoot up. Uh, you put your little heart zone 100 on, you know how overpowered that is. Um, put on your range, your goal range extender, and um, you probably go with a little flexible release corner specialist, anything like that. You could be uh, versatile with it. All right, let's move right along. Playmaking. Give yourself that quick first step, young blood. Floor General, Hall of Fame for your guard. Man, if your guard has like a, a 90 three-pointer, he's going to have a 94. This is going to be good for your P-lock in the corner. Your guard can run more badges. You can run dimer. So when you get that rebound and kick it back out, you know they're going to hit that shot, okay? And then... um. You probably could put on, you shouldn't really have to be worrying about unpluckable because cause you're supposed to be uh, hitting slips, okay? You're supposed, to, you're supposed to be on the slip. Uh, you could go with a little bailout, you know? If I was you, I'd go with bailout. Now, if you're a legend, you can go with, you can go with a uh, Hall of Fame post spin technician, Hall of Fame unpluckable, and put on silver downhill. Or if you plan if you plan on doing a little ISO with this bill, put on your unpluckable, your handles for days, and um, you could bump up your downhill as well, you know, because the bill does everything, bro. The bill does everything. It's like it's like a Kevin Durant bill, just with 
like a lower well like a lower three ball but we've seen that people can shoot with low three balls in this game especially after the last update okay all right you need the hall of fame brick wall i say go with like a gold box because you are you are a bit on the, the lighter side depends if you run into some randoms you know randoms be doing you know their own thing go to silver uh, interceptor i go rebound chaser give me some um, something like this um you could even draw a box down a bit intimidator down like that and little moving truck on goal you'll be able to hold it on inside the post okay now if you're a legend you could add a little bit more to this what i would do i would keep this same bad setup i'll put on a silver hard crusher i put on a silver pickpocket a silver off ball pass a silver lightning reflexes and I would put on a silver trapper, just in case. Because if you're up by like two, two possessions, you know, you just give up the tools, trap the guard, force him to, force him to score tools, and bow. That's basically what you do. All right? That's how you make the best big man build in the game. Challenge me on it. Tell me how it's not. And if you like it, tell me what you like. Comment down in the comment section.